Less than 8.5, paying off installment loans. The objective is to compute the final payment when paying off an installment loan. Your final payment is payment on a simple interest loan that consists of the previous balance plus the current month's interest. And then we have our formulas. That's the same formula we've been using to find interest. Don't forget that we combine the rate times the time when we find our R value. Okay, final payment is previous balance plus current, current month's interest. And interest saved is the total payback minus the sum of the previous payments plus the final payment. All right. See figure 8.2. This is in your book on page 319. For the first three months of the repayment schedule for Darlene and Hayden Grant's home repair loan of $1,800 at 12% interest for six months, what is the final payment if they pay the loan off with the fourth payment? Okay, so what's shown to you in this table is the first three payments, and they want to know what the payoff is uh, for the fourth month. Now, first thing we need to do to fit and solve this is find the R value. Okay, so let's go ahead, let's find that. R equals your interest rate is 12%, so 0.12 divided by 12 is 0.01. Okay, in order to find the payoff, we have got to find the interest that is owed on the 913.70. Okay, take 913.70 times 0.01. You should you should end up with nine dollars fourteen cents in interest okay that's going to be your interest for the fourth month now to find the final payment all you've got to do is take the balance at the end of the third month which is that nine thirteen seventy plus the interest that you just came up with of nine fourteen Add those two together, you should end up with 922.84. All right, now uh, 922.84 is your payoff. That is that is what you actually owe at this time. Uh, the balance plus the interest. Pay that amount instead of 31050 and you are done with the loan. Okay, let's go on to uh, problem number one in your homework. I'll push pause, give you a couple minutes. Go ahead and try that now. All right, now with this problem, there's a little bit of information you don't need, like that. You don't have to use the $1,200 for anything. First thing you need to do, find your R value. Your interest rate is 12%, so 0.12 divided by 12 is 0.01. The second step you take is finding the interest that you owe on the current balance. The current balance is 816 04 times 0.01. That gives you an interest of $8.16. Now, to find the final payment amount, you take the current balance of 816.04, you add your interest of $8.16, you should come up with $8.24.20. $8.24.20 is what you would pay in your final payment in order to complete this loan, get it completely paid off.
let's go ahead and let's move on to the second example. Okay. How much would the grants in example one save by paying off the loan early? All right. In order to work this example, you have got to look back at example one that we did and at the table on page 319. Uh, they want you to uh, figure out how much they save by paying off the loan early. So in order to do that, we have got to find out first how much they would have paid back altogether. Well, since their monthly payments from the figure, uh, figure 8.2, those monthly payments were three ten fifty. They took out a six month loan, so that means they had six months to pay it off, paying that amount. Take three ten fifty times six. Go ahead and work that out. That amount is one thousand eight sixty three. All right. Now, that would have been the total payback had they not paid it off early. Okay, the next part we would have had to have found to figure this out is how many months they had paid it off plus the final payment that we that we found and made. Okay? So, looking back at example 1, they had made three payments. We paid it off on the fourth payment. Okay, so 310, 50 times 3 plus the fourth payment that we made. The fourth payment that we came up with was 922.84. Okay, so 310.50 times 3 plus 922.84. That number is 1,854.34. Okay, now. That's the sum of the previous payments plus the final payment. If you subtract your total payback of 1863 minus 1854 34, which is the sum of the previous payments plus the final payment, you end up you end up with eight dollars sixty six cents that they saved in interest. Okay. Let's try the next the next example number two. Okay, complete this problem. In problem one, you had a 12 month loan of $1,200 at 12% interest to purchase an electric scooter. The balance after the fourth payment of 106.56 is 816.04. How much do you save by paying off the loan with the fifth payment? All right, I'm gonna push pause. Give you all a couple minutes. Uh, and then resume play when you're ready. All right, let's walk through this. The first, okay, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put the, the complete formula up here that I, that I already gave you. Okay, it is interest saved equals the total payback minus the sum of previous balances plus the final payment that you made.
Okay? So, looking at the problem. 106.56 are the monthly payments that I was making. It was a 12-month loan. All right, so in order to find my interest saved, I'm just going to put IS, interest saved, equals my total payback. I'm going to take by 106.56 times 12. That would be my total payback right there. Minus, okay, the sum of my previous balances. Well, if the balance after the fourth payment, okay, the balance after the fourth payment is 816.04. All right, so I really don't need 816.04 for this problem, but I did need to know that I made four payments. Okay, I made four payments of 106.56 times four. Now, the only part that I still have left to find is the final payment that I made when I did my, uh, my, my answer for number one, when I, when I found the final payment amount, paying it off on the fifth payment. Okay? That final payment that I made from number one was 824.20. 824.20. Eight would have zeroed out the note. Now, I have my problem set up. My interest saved equals my total payback minus the sum of my previous balances plus the final payment. Okay, so let's work this out. 106.56 times 12 is 1,278.72 minus... 106.56 times 4 is 426.24 plus 824.20. Okay, combine those two at the end. You should get 1,250. 44. All right. Subtract those. Subtract those out. You end up with 28 dollars 28 cents in interest saved. All right, the assignment for this evening, lesson 8.5, page 320, 1 through 11, 15 through 16. Get busy.